it up. I was, I went way too. Uh. Fashion Holy review. Holy shit. Here we are. I know we haven't done a fashion review in... <laughs> in a long time. Our baby is here. He's watching mom and dad do their thing. <laughs> the amount of texts, uh, Text. emails, tweets, Miss DMs, calls. letters. People are writing us letters. letters. You must do a 2024 Med Gala fashion review. Mm -hmm. And we were looking at each other and we said... I guess we have to do it. We have to do it. The people, they want it. Nay, they need it. Exactly. And obviously... We know what the fuck we're talking about. Bringing it back to the first one we ever did when we were drinking. June shine. June shine. Cheers. We're drinking again. We're drinking again sounds like we're off the wagon or on the wagon or whatever. Which I one? am both off and on the wagon. Yeah. Whichever one means that you're drinking again. And guess what, guys? News. We're drinking again. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, um, fun update. We're drinking again. Last year, I wanted to do a Met Gala fashion review, but I found out I was pregnant the day of the Met Gala mm. last year. And then we went to Australia, and it was just like, I didn't feel normal. So, we're back. We're making up for it. I still don't feel normal. Oh, hey. Now that you're here, I might as well just, uh interrupt the video for a second to tell you about something that I hold very near and dear to my heart. It's something that's really important to me and it's the sponsor of today's video and that is the sheets that I put on my bed. I use Brooklinen and I'm very excited to tell you about this. I'm about to put these sheets on, but if you have somehow never heard of Brooklinen, they're a luxury sheets company, okay? Luxury sheets. Who doesn't want luxury sheets, Cody? Who wants luxury sheets? Me. <laughs> These are the same sheets that you'll find at the Four Seasons in Orlando. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, Brooke Linen is a luxury sheets company, and they create high-quality home goods to elevate your home. You know, if, if you can elevate your home in any little way, you you should, because it makes you feel luxurious. And I actually got these beautiful sheets for when we moved back into our house, because I really thought this color was gonna go well in our house, in our new, like the way that our room is newly decorated. But when once I got them out of the package, I instantly just wanted to put them on our bed in here because they're so soft and so comfortable, and that's what I do now. So let's go put them on bed, and I'll tell you more about why I love them. So like I was saying, I really wanted colorful bedding for when we moved back into our new house, and I saw this blue mist color, and it was the one. I love it so much. Brooklyn Inn is always releasing new seasonal colors, and I just had to get this one. But they do sell out fast, though, by the way, so you have to be on it. Keep an eye out. They're all so cute. And these sheets, the ones that I'm putting on the bed right now, they're the Lux Hardcore Sheets, and they are like the only ultimate bedding upgrade. They have a 480 thread count and you'll see like when I'm done that they have a slightly luminous finish that is like so chic and looks so good, but they're also so soft, so comfortable. And I got the bundle. So instead of buying like individual items, you can save 20% by purchasing like a hardcore bundle. So that includes the core sheet set, extra pillowcases and a duvet cover. Just the best. I don't know, for a long time, I thought it didn't matter what kind of bedding or sheets I had. But as soon as I started using Brooklyn and I I noticed such a better difference in my sleep and I just realized how important it is to actually care about that kind of thing and get the best for yourself. You don't even need to leave home to get it. You can just go online and shop for your Brooklyn and Classic or Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle and mix and match over 20 plus colors or patterns and enjoy. I promise you will love these sheets just like I do. There we have it. Look how comfy I am. Brooklyn Inn is offering you guys a special discount of $20 off any order over $100. Just click the link in the description and use code Kelsey Kreppel and get some comfy sheets. It makes all the difference. Now we can get back to the video. So here we go. Zendaya in Mason Margiela and then Zendaya also in Givenchy. Can you do that? Oh. Well, she did. I don't understand. How do you do that? She walked the red carpet. Like a, looking like a peacock, skinny, snatched peacock. Okay. And then she said, "Hang on a Fuck sec." Fuck one outfit. Let's run it back. What's better than one outfit? G, two outfits. Has anyone done that before? Blake Lively's outfit like changed color that one time. I don't know that anyone's like done it full look, left, come back with another full look. Like I feel like that's like insane. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, beautiful peacock! I can't believe it." This. Mm -hmm you know, this wonderful peacock walking through the red carpet, yeah. right? And they're all still chattering about it. Chattering about it And then all still. of a sudden, wait. Hold on. Hold on. They look over and 
they're like, wait, now she's dripping in oil. What? Covered in oil. Kind of looks like a massive oil spill. Kind of looks, like, <laughs> looks like the BP oil spill, does it not? Stop. We, oil spills are not something to joke about. <laughs> Why not? Because they hurt animals. They had to use Dawn dish soap to Which save is, them. Which is, isn't this, <laughs> did they? Yeah, wasn't that like a Dawn dish soap? Oh, maybe. Yeah, anyway. I don't know the history. Well, I was going to say, it, it kind of makes it funnier because the whole thing is about nature, 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 mm. and then she comes through looking like an oil spill. It's like, what about this? I like her bouquet hat. Yeah, no, I think this is a really fucking sick look. It's awesome. I also like the peacock one, just to be clear, Tim Burton peacock, like, pop off. She was kind of, like, scaring me a little bit on the red carpet, though. Why? Like, she's really good, and because I'm weird, but she is really good at, like, I saw a tweet that was, like, she could, like, embody whatever she's wearing. I like, see. she, like, really embodies it. Like, mm -hmm. she doesn't just wear something. She, like really wears it, you know what I mean? Like face, like that way she's acting, when she's yes, walking. Yes, okay. And like when she was in the blue striper, she was kind of like, it was a little bit like eerie almost. Okay, kinda so Tim here, Burton vibes. let's practice, you do. I'll call it out. What? How you would walk down the red carpet in these two outfits, I'll call out which one. Okay. Okay, ready? Peacock. No. <laughs> <laughs> that Is was, that what she did? That was me being a peacock. <laughs> That's what you would do. <laughs> I meant like if you were wearing this fit. All right, now oil spill. Glug, glug. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't say quicksand. J-Lo. I'm just bored. Like, okay. I think it's cool. It looks like the car window in the winter when it's like half thawed, yeah. you know? Yeah, it does. Anywho, next up. Okay. Well, so you're really bored by that. Bad Bunny. In Mason Margiela. I think it's cool as fuck. <laughs> I think it's really cool. What is that hat? <laughs> I think it's cool. It's like a deflated chef's hat. Or an inflated Joe Rogan hat. What's a Joe Rogan hat? Like one of the like the little caps with the little brims, the flat ones that he always used to wear. I don't know anything about him. One of these little fuckers? Oh. What's that called? A train conductor hat? A paper, paper boy? Paper boy hat. Did anyone else have those pillows that were like, like little beads in them and they like smushed? Yeah. Do yeah. you know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah, they were like tubes. Yeah. I used to put mine, squish it down, and put it on my head like a hat. <laughs> and that's what that looked like. Exactly really, what that looked it like. It really does. <laughs> Who knew that you were doing couture? I was doing Mason Margiela artisanal. Yeah. Is he holding something? Like I think a, he's, he's holding those flowers. Is he? No, those are on. He's just he's just making fists. No, I think he's holding. I really hope he's holding that. I think he's that. really nervous. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey. It's jacking off. It's kind of cold. Yeah. Demi Moore. Kind of like it looks like a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> but it is nature themed, so it kind of goes with it. Yeah. I actually think it's really cool. I actually really do like this one. It also looks like some dude's like shitty prom suit, color scheme wise, you know? Bright pink and black. Like when the guy like tries to match the girl, so he wears the pink shirt. The pink shirt, pink tie. Yeah. Kind of looks like that to me a little bit. She looks like one of those cookies that like swirls into each other. They're 100%. Like this. Yeah. Kind of making me hungry, honestly. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, some jam right there. Ooh, oh, jam. Those cookies don't really have jam, though. The ones I'm thinking of do. Sarah Jessica Parker in Richard Quinn. I am not a fan. I don't know. It's like fine. I'm trying to think of something to say about this. and I can't. This is why we stopped doing these. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a year and we're still out of commentary on this stuff. Guess who's not having sex in the city tonight because of this outfit? <laughs> you know what I think this looks like? It looks like someone Richard Quinn, to be specific. It looks like he's an alien. And he's like, I must make dress. And then like, he sees a picture of a dress and like, doesn't yeah. realize it's like made out of cloth and he like, you know? Makes right. it out of wire. Mm. So it looks this like an is alien. dress. Yeah, it looks like an alien made the dress. Yeah, okay. and also same with like the headpiece and stuff. Like that yeah. looks like a crazy like alien helmet from the future. Iowa Debris in Lueve. I don't like it. I don't love it. I do really like her. It looks like it's like going from winter to spring. I mean, I feel like this is something that you'd see on the rack and you'd be like, that's fucking sick. Mm -hmm. Like the colors are spectacular. Mm -hmm. Like the, I feel like a lot of people did the changing shit. Mm. But then I, I don't think like on the carpet and next to everyone else's dramatic looks, I mean, I think that's what's weakening it for me. Sometimes it's about the context. 
Holy fuck. I'm trying to get us invited next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's about the context. Yeah. Sometimes it's about the context. Josh O'Connor in Lueve. I, I like this. I really like the shoes. I love the shoes. I love the coat. Yeah, me too. I really oh, like this Oh, me one. too. I didn't realize this goes down like these. He's got tails. Yeah, he looks cool, I yeah. think. Oh, I love it. The fucking shoes are sick. Yeah. It's like somebody took this fabric and made rain boots. That, well, that might be the case, considering the fact that they're both in Loewe. Both in Loewe. Same and pattern. And I like Loewe. Same pattern. Divine Joy Randolph. What is this? Why is it denim? Is it denim? Yeah, it is kind of denim-y. Yeah, I, I feel like it doesn't really no, go with the... No, it's like full denim, I think. Yeah. What's the deal? I don't, think, I don't think it's in theme. To me personally, this will go great at Stagecoach. I was going to say that. I'm not too sure I like this. Yeah. I'm not effing with it. TBH. All right. Barry Keegan in Burberry and Sabrina Carpenter in Oscar de la Renta. I have Why a... were you just standing there going... I have a problem. There's no rhyme or reason behind it, and it is what it is. I am terrified. If you watch the show Atlanta or you listen to my podcast, you would already know this. I'm terrified of Teddy Perkins. I don't even actually want to look at it. It's Donald Glover playing like an old, rich, white guy. This episode... Take that picture Yeah, off. okay, sorry. It really stuck with me. The episode was really good, but it like fucked with me. There are certain things that I cannot explain why they remind me of Teddy Perkins, but they do. If I'm wearing too much makeup, I think I look like Teddy Perkins. Things just remind me of Teddy Perkins okay. and I get scared. Okay. He reminds me of Teddy Perkins and I cannot quite explain it. I don't know if like in this instance, it's like his outfit mixed with his face. <laughs> Something about it, him reminds me of Teddy Perkins and therefore I get scared. And I'm sure he's wonderful. And I love him and Sabrina together. And I love her. And I love him, okay? He was great in Saltburn. And I just had to get that off my chest. Yeah, no, well now that we know the lore. That's the lore. Yeah. But, but what about his outfit though? I think the outfit. I think the Mad Hatter, I... <clears throat> like Alice in Wonderland of it all is really cute. Yeah. Like, I think they look cute together. I love her dress. I really do. I think it's stunning. Yeah, it's pretty I think cool. she looks so beautiful. Like, she's walking on a cloud. Yeah. I do wonder, like, if it's hard to walk in, though. I mean, that was, like, it seems to be, like, the less you can move at this event, the yeah, cooler it is. Yeah, totally. Like, there was, like, multiple people, like, being carried up the stairs like a statue. <laughs> the more handlers you need, the cooler the outfit. Mm -hmm. If you just straight up cannot go from A to B, yeah. that's, like, the coolest you can get. I agree. Just have it be carried like this. Yeah. Like a figurine, you know? He also kind of looks like He's like wondering, he's like kind of curious. He's like, how does a bastard orphan, son of a whore. Yes! <laughs> yes! He looks like he's yeah. in Hamilton. Yeah. Which we love. Pardon me, are you wearing burr, sir? No. You know the words. Um, who's asking? That depends who's asking. I'm the burr, sir. That depends who's asking. Oh, well, sure, sir. I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm, I'm at the service, sir. sir. I have been looking for you. What? I'm getting a I'm boner. Getting, <laughs> getting nervous, sir. I'm getting nervous, sir. No, I just, I'm the burst, sir. Just say, I'm, just say, I'm getting I'm going berserk. <laughs> Go berserk. <laughs> Hamilton, the EDM show. Okay. Lana Del Rey in vintage Alexander McQueen. I mean, she's so insanely beautiful. She looks so much like a reindeer. Like, I actually cannot unsee it. Like, all I see is reindeer. Yeah, I like the veil a lot. I think it's cool. It's kind of a mosquito net, though, a little bit. It is. It is. <laughs> it looks um, like she's out in the bush. No, it, it, it looks... <laughs> Hunting, you know what I mean? Or like fishing. It, no, it looks like she was a reindeer that was frolicking <laughs> in the woods and someone tried to trap her. And oh. she was like, not today, Santa. Yeah. And that, I gotta go to the Met Gala. <laughs> that being said, she looks really beautiful. She looks so beautiful. And it is like on theme. I think it's really cool, actually. Overall, yeah. I think it's dope. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Like if, if you're like a physical danger to other people, mm -hmm. that is good. You want shit stabbing out, like, you know, yeah. potential stabbing things. I mean, like, who is that tall that she's, like, stabbing? I mean, she could, like, bend down to get something and then in the eye of right. one of the photographers. Ah! All right, Kim Kardashian wearing Mason Margiela. Now, a lot of people were like, what the hell is the deal with the sweater? Which, like, yeah, I agree. But then I saw an interview where she was like, I wanted it to look like I was, like, running out of, like, my boyfriend's house and I grabbed a sweater and I'm like running through the woods or something. I don't really know what she was saying, but like, I was like, okay. Everyone was talking about the corset, obviously. 
Yeah. So to take attention kind of away from that is actually kind of cool, I think. Yeah. Do you think that they did? They knew they were doing that though? Uh, yeah, I think it was intentional. Because otherwise it's going to be like crazy thin waist and then like, you know, the dress just doesn't really cover much here. So it's like cleavage, really thin waist, right? But to mm -hmm. like make it, it feels like that makes it a little bit more like elegant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dropping crazy fashion bombs right now. I think the corset thing is kind of cool too. Just cause it's like, how do you even force your organs to distribute like that? Dua Lipa in Marc Jacobs. Okay, this is kind of like, what the hell? Like it looks like a furry snake. A furry snake? <laughs> Who's furry snake? Furry snake? Is that a designer? Dua Lipa wearing furry snake. Like it's like kind of like a sarong, like a beach <laughs> sarong with like a jock strap. And then right, like okay. a like a furry like seaweed like when you get out of the ocean you have like seaweed all over you. Yeah. Yep. But I love it. <laughs> <laughs> also, it doesn't look like it's in theme. Sydney Sweeney in Mew Mew. I like the color a lot. I like the dress. Yeah. The like leather gloves and the black bob are kind of stressing me out. The pose is kind of stressing me out. I love when you do fuetes. That's your go-to move. Yeah. Is fuetes. And I'm wondering like why fuetes have stuck with you. Cause I used to watch my sister dance and every time that shit, like everyone would cheer. <laughs> oh, bow, oh, bow. I was like. It's actually, that is. I like how it speeds like up and slows like, down. Speeds up, slows like down. That is like the most accurate thing you've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the, I don't know, yeah, the black hair, everyone said she looked like Carly Rae Jepsen. I thought she was Billie Eilish at first. Yeah, Billie Eilish. But I mean, there's no reason she can't do it, you know? No, totally. Maybe she'll do it and then someone in the future is like, oh, you look like Sydney Sweeney. No, for sure, it's just, I wasn't expecting it. Doja Cat and Vediments, I think this is fucking cool. The fact that she like, came drenched in water. She said it was hair gel. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Water would be like cold and you would, this is probably cold. I think it's cool because she looks like one of those statues. One of what statues? Like she looks like a statue wearing a dress. They're always like, it's like immortalized in that. I guess. That's what I used to look like, like leaving a frat party in college. Like you're like wearing, like like you fell in the pool on accident. You're like wearing clothes and you're like crying because some guy was like a dick to you. Wait, the, the theme is what? <laughs> what? It's not Theta Chi Omega? I thought the theme was Greek life. That would be such an insane Met Gala fucking thing. Just fucking Can you imagine. Someone comes dressed as a giant red cup. Yeah. <laughs> and a beer pong ball. CEO bros. <laughs> and Met Gala hose. Okay, I saw on Twitter, I cannot take credit for this, but someone said that um it looked like a piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like her hat and I I cannot see anything else it really unfortunately does. like yeah. it, I, that is literally all I see yeah like little red peppers right here like pepperonis like that and like the shape of it yeah looks like a pizza mm -hmm. what is that like material also looks like hey Arnold's head I can't really figure it out yeah it's hard to wrap your head around that one talk about oil spill holy fuck I want to jump in that I want, I want one of the, that looks like when people come to schools or like birthday parties and they have one of those big things and all the kids hold it up. Oh my God, that it. shit was so fun. I know. I Everyone's like, yo, it. yo, grab a corner, grab a corner, let's yeah, go. Yeah. It's gonna be sick. She's like, what are you guys doing? Everybody run in. <laughs> See, I think this is the proper way to do the Met Gala is just like try and break a record. Yeah. I think if we were to ever go. Yeah. God willing. I would try to break the record. The yeah. longest suit. <laughs> Chloe Sevigny and Dalara Findoglu. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually tried to, I butchered that. You butchered everything besides Chloe. <laughs> Kendall Jenner in archival Givenchy couture. I Givenchy. love this. To be so honest with you guys, I fucking love this. Archival means it's like an old piece that's been worn before. I don't think this one's ever been worn. It looks awesome. I think she looks so good. She kind of slays on the carpet. Facts. Kylie Jenner and Oscar de la Renta. Damn. I just don't really understand like what she, what, she looks so beautiful, but I was kind of like, oh, okay. Is she wearing the Skims bra that like gives you nipples? All right. She looks great, she looks great, she looks great. We have to be nice to Anna Wintour. Why? She's a Queen oh, Vogue. of Vogue! Vogue editor-in-chief? She's the reason we'll get to the Met Gala one day. Okay, okay, ready? Is it Anna or Anna? Okay, Should we just, just do like... a take of both? Ready, one, two, three. Wow, wow Anna, Anna look- Fuck! Win... Oh. One, two, three. Wow. wow. Anna, Anna looks... Wintour, oh. <laughs> okay, let's winter? just say- Winter or Let's winter? just say, she looks, she looks amazing. amazing. Emma? Emma Chamberlain. 
Awesome as always. Awesome as always. Stunning, love to see it. Beautiful. Yep. Perfect. No, I think she looks really amazing. And I love when they made it shorter for her interviews. Like, I thought she looked so just kind of perfect. She's also embodying the vibe of the dress. Yeah. You she's can tell doing by the look. She's like, that. you know, doing the thing. Like, looking. She crushes dark it. Like, and mean. I love the confidence. I just, like, love when she's out there doing her thing. You mm -hmm. know? I feel really, like, proud and happy. Yep. Uh, Chris Hemsworth. This just looks like every other suit in the world. Yeah. Um. Wait. Um. Let me think of a joke. Uh. Oh. This is. This is. This outfit is Thorable. <laughs> no, it's not. Thor K. Yeah. No, it's Fedorable. <laughs> no, but he like. It's Thor K. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's Australian too, so it would be. It's kinda... Thor K. Thor K, mate. You know, it's, it's Thor K. If he was gonna get a world record, he'd get a world record for most normal looking person <laughs> at the Met Gala. Yeah. I most want to be the most unassuming. Suit. I want to look the most NPC as I possibly can. Right. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's kind of a lot, but you know, it's like, what, I'm going to complain about something being boring and then I'm going to complain about something being a lot? Like, I, I, for some reason I want to sing, California girls, it's undeniable, faint need chance, bikinis on top. Daisy Duke, is that what it is? Sun life is the so best. I love their smoothies. Doesn't it kind of the color scheme and everything? That's me with my new haircut when I sleep, and then when I wake up, that's what my hair looks like. Nah. Donald Glover. It's Teddy Perkins. <laughs> Someone said he dresses like Steve Harvey. Oh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> He's so cool. I love the color. I just want to be clear that I do love him so much. That so do I, and that I think that pink and that brown, yeah. very fucking cool. Yeah, I think he killed it. I mean, this is probably my favorite. This one? Yeah, like that dress is so beautiful. It's really, really cool. It looks like salad dressing, like ranch or something, with little <laughs> herbs in it. You know? I think I, I'm just hungry. I think you are too. But ranch sounds amazing. Yeah. This one's cool. The wood. That's fucking cool. Yeah, she looks like like a like, and when you're on, it's a small world. Yeah. It's like she reminds me of like the little characters in there. Yeah. In a good way though. I really like it. All right, guys, that's it. We got to put oh, him down, down for, for a nap. nap. Thank you so much for watching. And. Uh, well, if you have any questions about fashion, just DM us. <laughs> and we'll see you next year on the carpet at the Met Gala. <laughs> see you next year, baby. On a winter, please hit us up. Please. On a winter. Love you. Love you. Bye.